Hi, this is Amir from simpletech.ca and in this video I'm going to show you how to use PowerPoint and create PowerPoint presentations. Uh, um, hopefully maybe in um, one or maybe two videos I'll try to maybe in 20 to 30 minutes teach you all the basic elements so you can start creating your own PowerPoint presentation which is one of the most fun thing you can do with Office and it's very straightforward and easy once you understand the concepts. I'm using Office 2010 which is similar to Office 2007. If you have Office 2003 it is different in just that the buttons are in the different places. In 2007 and 2010 they have these bigger sections called the home where you have all these bigger buttons here so that everything is available to you like within insert you've got all these bigger buttons they call it ribbons so it's easier access in 2003 when you clicked on any one of these menus instead of it showing sideways they used to have a vertical window open up and then you had to go look for stuff the concepts stay the same all you have to know is where the buttons are the one difference they have done in Office 2003 is by adding this file button. You see when you hit file you get the save and print and all those options which were not there as file. In Office 2003 right around here they had like a round button they call the office button. When you click it it does the same thing. So with that said let's get to PowerPoint. So when you open it this is what you see. If you have Microsoft Office, you should have a shortcut on your computer. Or you can go to Start, Programs, Microsoft Office, Microsoft PowerPoint, and you'll be able to see the screen. So I'm going to start typing something. So where it says click to add title, I just click my cursor there and I'll just type something. PowerPoint. And I click here and I can add my name and I'll just put my website. Now at this time I always make a point to save my work so I'm gonna hit the save button which is the floppy drive button which is the same in all office products or I can go to file and hit save and it's gonna ask me where do you want to save it and the name of the file. Now it always saves it by default in my documents now if I want I can create a folder by using that button and it creates a new folder and I can call it something. So say I'll say training PowerPoint and I can double click on it. Make sure you double click properly so that it says training PowerPoint. So I've created a folder and up here I can give it any name PowerPoint whatever is appropriate and I hit save. Now I, we need to learn now how to add slides. In PowerPoint the whole purpose is to keep on adding slides that will show the information that you want to share with the group or people. So I click on this button called new slide. They just made it a little easier in this version of 2007 and 10. Now I get to choose the kind of layout I want. I'll click this one which is title and a column. Now you see I've got title slide 1 and now this is slide 2. I'll click here and I'll just type something. I'll say this is one column. That's my title. I click here and I can put a title. It's like a bullet. So you can do a bulleted point. Bullet 1, bullet 2, enter. Now if I want to put a sub bullet I can hit the tab key I think I made a spelling mistake. I'm just going to right click on it and choose the right one. Right click and then left click on the right one. Enter. Now if I want to go back to it being bullet rather than sub bullet, I hold the shift key down and hit the tab key. Sorry, I think I made a mistake here. Shift and tab. So it pushes back. So make sure you hold the shift key down and then hit tab. Now I can keep typing my bullets. Let's add some more slides. New slide. This time I'll choose the two column 
And in this one, what I'll do is I'll put some text here and I'll put a clip art here. So I'll just give it a title and I'll call it clip art. And in this section, you'll see that you can add a table, chart, picture, clip art, or even some media like which is sound or video. Right now, we'll do a clip art. So I click on it. And I can click here and type something I want car, cat, dog, PC. So let's say I put cat and I hit, hit the go button. And I'll just click on this picture one time and it's added. It was given me a tiger cat. And I want to resize it. So I, while it is selected, I come to the corner left click and hold it and drag it come to the corner here left click and hold it drag it I can even move it come to the middle left click and hold it and you can move it up or down I always try to do it diagonally because that way you will maintain its proportion otherwise the picture gets a little distorted and I can type whatever I want there let's add one more slide new slide to content. In this one, I'll show you how to add a picture. Put a title. Right here, it says insert picture. The good thing about Office is whenever you don't know what the button does, point to it, don't click, and it will tell you what it does. I click on it. It's asking me, so where is the picture? I click on the picture folder or wherever you have it. And then I double click on the sample picture. And I can pick something. So I'll pick penguins. Click here. And I can type something. I'll just close this window on the side here. So now if you see, I've got one slide, two slide, three slide, four slide. And you can keep on adding. So we'll just stick with this right now. And there is the slide option there. And there is the outline option. So in the outline option, you can actually see all the information that is in each and every slide. Now I can edit the information up here. Make sure you click in it because your cursor has to be blinking. And then I can move the cursor, make any changes I want, add some words, remove some words. It's up to you. Or I can even edit it up here. Now when you right click on this line, so I'm right clicking on the word penguins I get some options here called move up and down so if I wanted to move the word penguins on the second line rather than the first line I just say move down and you'll see that the word penguin has moved down you can go back here right click choose move up and it moves up now within here where it says sub bullet a when I right click on it there is an option here called promote and demote. So you could use these options if, say, for example, you wanted the sub bullet instead of it being a sub bullet, you wanted it to make it a bullet. If I hit promote, you see it becomes a bullet. If I right click on it again and hit promote again, it takes that sub bullet and makes a new slide out of it and takes all the information after that and put it on that slide. So these are really good tools to make your work and your editing faster. I right click on it again, hit demote and it is reduced in power. Right click on it again and I can hit demote and it's back to being a sub bullet. So you have to be in the outline view to be able to use that. Right click and you can use that. Along with that, when you go to the view section of your tab up here on the top, you see the normal view is kind of highlighted. So this is known as the normal view, where you can see the slides and the outline. So right after that, there is a slide sorter view. This shows you all your slides. So if you had 20 slides, you can scroll down and you'll see all of them. One thing you can do here is I can rearrange my slides. So say, for example, I wanted this picture slide with the penguins as the second slide. I just left click and hold it and I drag it in front of it. 
so I've moved it left click and hold it and I can drag it all the way to the end drop it while it is selected if I hit the delete button on the keyboard the slide will be deleted so if I hit delete now the slide is gone I'm going to hit the undo button to bring it back so remember if you do that be sure that you wanna really do that the third button there is called the notes page so if I click on it what it does is right here on the bottom where it says click to add text I can type notes here so these are really good for when you are working with a group of people or even for yourself so you can leave notes as to what is it that you want to talk on this slide this information does not show up on the slide this is for your reference and also to share it with other people so that's a good thing and also you can have this printed out so that you could have it in your hand when you are doing a presentation and I'll show you later how to print these things now this normal sorter and notes page button are also available in the corner here where it says normal slide sorter and I think the reading view I've never used it but the last one is called the slideshow view which is which will start the slideshow so if I click on the first slide and I click on that button slideshow now this is what my slideshow looks like I can hit the enter key to change the slide down arrow side arrow I can use up to go back up and the back to go back up so you can use the up down sideways left and right arrows to go forward so if you keep going forward and it will end it the other way to start your slideshow is going to the slideshow menu up here on the top from beginning and then you can start it again if you hit the escape key during the presentation it escapes it so we'll come back to normal view and we'll just start doing some interesting things now and before I do that I'll just show you one thing say for example in this slide 2 where it is only one column but you decided that hey I want to turn this into a two column slide so what you do is make sure first of all you are in that column so it has to be selected and if you go into the home button there is a layout you click it and then I can say two contents now you see I can add more things here and if I don't want it I can go back layout this one back it goes back to having only one column rather than two columns so it's pretty easy to change even if you change your mind so I think for example the picture layout and I think they've changed something here let's see yeah they don't have the option usually they used to have an option where you can have the picture on the right or left pretty quickly I'm pretty sure it's there somewhere I just haven't looked at it so now let's do some fun stuff in terms of doing uh, designs and all that so I'll just come to the slide sorter view it just gives you a better idea and I go to the design button and I can pick any one of these design that I like so I just click on it now that's the design of my PowerPoint I can click on this arrow here and it gives me more option and I can choose something else I'll just go to slideshow from beginning so this is what it looks like and you can always go back and change the design as you like it even when you have the designs you can always change the background style so you still have control over what kind of a style you want and you can always change it to some other designs whatever you felt like so this is where the fun part is it's really highly customizable okay. now the next thing we will look at is how to transition a slide you know when you change a slide you get to choose as to how do you want it to move around so I can go to transition and say I choose push now I'll go to slideshow from beginning 
when I hit the up arrow or hit enter oh I think I forgot to apply I think let me go back transition push make sure you say apply to all so now I've done that slideshow from beginning so now you see it's coming from the bottom escape I can always change this back to wipe apply to all I'll start the slideshow now it's doing a wipe escape to get out of there so this is slide transition I'm almost getting to 14 minutes so I'm gonna stop this video right here and I'll do a part two so I can cover all the elements. Thank you for watching and please watch the part two of this video.